<coughs> I'd like to end up now um, with a puzzle uh, that can be solved in two completely different ways. Uh, most of the puzzles we've looked at have usually just essentially one way of solving it. This is the problem of instant insanity. Okay, um, sometimes called the four cubes problem. We have four cubes here, and uh, each of these cubes has um, red, green, yellow, and uh, blue faces uh, in, in, in a certain way, and, and they're all stacked up. You see, I've got them all stacked up here. And if I, um, if I sort of take them down again, uh, then I might want to sort of stack them again. Uh, I've only got five minutes left. Um, unfortunately, there are 82,944 ways of stacking them, and only one way works. Okay? Um, because you might actually get... So what we want to do is all four colors appear on, 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 on the side of the stack. Uh, hopefully I can do this. Um, you can see all four colors occur. But if, if I sort of suddenly, you know, if something like that happens, then heaven knows what's going to happen. So how do I, how do I put them up, up again? Here is the graph theory way. And I, I shall, if I get a bit technical, just, just go along with it. <coughs> You'll see the result. Uh, I did this once in a lecture, and I, and I piled them up and I said, look, it all works. And I turned it around, and there were two faces of the same color. So hopefully that won't work. Today. If you're stacking them, then of course you're, you're interested in the front and the back, okay? And you don't want this happening, okay? You're interested in the front and the back, and you're in, and the left and the right, and you're not interested in the, in the top and the bottom because they get covered up. So you want to know which pair of opposite faces are unseen and which ones are seen. So you're interested in pairs of opposite faces. So you take your first cube, and let's let's record which ones are op opposite faces. So you've got, well, here you've got red opposite red opposite green. Uh, okay, red opposite red, yes, and blue opposite yellow, okay? So, for each one I'm going to ask, well, I'm, I'm going to check and see if you can check from the, from, the, from the graph. So I've got green opposite yellow, is that right? Yeah, that's there. Red opposite yellow, yeah, that's there. Uh, red opposite blue, yeah, that's okay, so we, we can put that there. I'm in trouble already. <laughs> okay, uh, the next one is um, green opposite green, yes. Red opposite blue, yes. Blue opposite yellow, okay. All right. And then the fourth one is red opposite green, yeah, uh, yes. Yellow opposite green, and um, blue opposite yellow, okay. So I got those, and, and th this side is disastrous, I'm not, and I've got two blues there. Now I can combine all this together into a single graph because it's ra rather than having four graphs, it's much easier to have one, one picture. And what I want to do now is I want to find two graphs inside here, parts of this, uh, where each contains one edge from each cube, because each side of the stack has got one face from each cube. They have no edges in common, because you don't want the faces that appear on the front and back also to appear on the left and right. And all vertices have degree 2. That's, that's just because if you, if you look at front and back and, and the sides, uh, there, there, there are two things to look at there. And so I, I, I look at this, and I, it's, quick, it's quick to see you can't have that loop there, you can't have that loop there. In fact, it's easy to see you can't have that there as well, if you think about it. And in fact, at the end of the day, I came up with this solution here. Um, uh, these satisfy the properties, and now let's see if we can pile them on top of each other, see where they get, whether they work. Okay. So the first one tells me front and back are blue and yellow. Okay. So, so you can have blue, and I'll have yellow, it doesn't matter. And it's in one of these situations, and then red and green, left and right. Okay, you can have red and you can have green. Okay, so there's the first cube. Placing the first cube is not the difficult, most difficult thing to do. <coughs> Second one has got green and yellow, uh, front and back. Well, I've already got yellow at the back, so I'm going I'm to have to have green, and you're going to have to have yellow. And then it can be any of these situations. Oh, but it says that red and blue are left and right, and. Uh, there's already a red there, so you've got to have blue. You can't have red. You can have red. So we've got the second one there. I mm -hmm. hope we're OK so far. <coughs> Third one, it's got red and, red and blue, front and, and, and back. OK. Um, and uh, well, we've got, already got blue there, so you'll have to have red, and I'll have blue. And this is one of these situations, and it's got blue and yellow, uh, left and right. Well, there's already a blue, so you can have yellow, and you have blue. So we have to have this. How are we doing so far? All right. 
And then uh, finally, uh, the moment of truth, uh, you've got um, red and green front and back. Okay, well, I've got green here, um, so I'll have to have red, and you can have, have green. And you've got uh, green and yellow left and right, and there's a green there, so we've got to have that. And hopefully, this is all correct. And, uh, and yes, we actually, I think, do have it. It, it does actually work. Okay. <laughs>